Hello, YouTube family. <laughs> we have new lighting. Yes! If you can see it from this point, it looks like something out of a Spider-Man movie uh -huh. with the octopus and all of the, the yes. stuff around. It's giving alien chic. Yes. <laughs> I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. This is Chocolate Divinity. <laughs> Latoya Charleston. That's where everywhere I go, they want to know where's the chocolate. The vice versa, friend. Where Patty at? Yeah. <laughs> well, y'all know we ain't attached to the hip, right? <laughs> It's not cute not knowing, and now you're going to know before we get started with the madness mm -hmm. and the singing. Mm -hmm. Let's get up. These good feel boots. Yes. <laughs> Ryan Seacrest is going to be the new host of Wheel of Fortune. Well, come on. He got the job. A job that Whoopi Goldberg wanted. They said, well, Whoopi, you don't come to work on Friday. We need somebody 24-7. <laughs> <They 24 do. laughs> we need somebody that's going to work 24-7. You don't like to work on Friday. Thank you. Pat Sajak is stepping down next year. Okay. After 41 years. But mm. this is the funny part, Toya. Vanna White said, I ain't going nowhere. Well, Maddie, that's what I was concerned. And Vanna said, no, you ain't stopping no check over here. We going to work. She said, you will not replace me with somebody younger. And I see that. And here's the sad thing part, Patty, because when Ryan get in there, you know they're going to be messing with our good girl, Vanna. I know. Let, let I know. her live and get a check. And this is the excuse they're going to use. You look a little older uh -huh. standing next to him. Doesn't really even he's, like, he's in his 40s. Yeah. Push it, push it. Right in the 50s. He's 76. She could be pushing 60. Joy looking at her phone like I should go. And okay, look at your phone. Let's see her. Wait, what okay. A soft look picture of her lately. No, she know, looks good. Mm -hmm. She looks good, but women are not allowed to age. And if she comes across looking too older than Ryan, they'll make a change. But she said. Okay, she's 66. Okay, she's, she's got 66. some good years left in her. Leave her alone. Okay, and she does 66. look good in the face, Patty. Yeah. yeah, but women are punished. I know. Women, I women, hate women that. are punished. If she starts to look a little too older, y'all better leave my girl Ryan. Alone. But she said, "I'm staying." Look, she look good. In case y'all ain't seen her lately, look at that. <laughs> she look good. Yeah, she, she can does. stay on some more years. She Don't does. leave my sis alone. Uh, the new class of 2024, the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Yes. You got the late actor Chadwick Boseman, oh. the late singer Otis Redding, okay. yes. Gal Gadot, Wonder Woman, Chris Pine, Star Trek, okay. Oscar winner Michelle Yeoh, yes. Eugene Levy. He was in those American Pie movies. Uh -huh. You know him when you see him. Wait, that show, what? Shit's Creek. Yes, Shit's Creek. Yep. That. Shirley Ralph. Moesha's mom. Come on, dream girl. Dream girl, mm -hmm. Abbott Elementary. Come on. Speaking of Brandy's mom, Brandy is getting inducted into the Hollywood ahead, Walk of Fame. Carrie Washington, Tony Braxton. Come on. Gwen Stefani. Oh, it's about to be a party. Carl Weathers, Rocky fame. Well, come on. Just to name a few. We going to the party? I wish we'd go to something. Yeah, send, but send us an invite to a party. There are some of the invites for the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Okay. It's a big honor for Angela Bassett because finally, finally, she's going to get her Oscar. Okay. She's getting an honorary Academy Award this November. She didn't get it for what love got to do with it. She mm -hmm. didn't get it for Black Panther 2. This award is given out to people. It's like, okay, we know we messed up. We didn't give you all your, it, when it was time. So we're going to give you this. Because Spike Lee got one. Samuel mm -hmm. Jackson got one. So now they're giving these two. Give her a role and give her the real Oscar in a couple years. Don't play with her. Now, Mel Brooks is also getting an Oscar. He won one okay. for this show, The Producers, um... In 1969. Wow. But he's never gotten one for, you know, best director or best movie. Yes. He's comic in, legend. He's 96 years old. He's a comic legend. Mm -hmm. And his movies cannot be made today. Because <laughs> people are too sensitive <laughs> and too politically correct. Blazing Saddles was a classic. Now, if you're sensitive, don't, don't watch it. Don't do for you. Young Frankenstein. <sighs> Gene Wilder. Mm -hmm. This was a Mel Brooks classic. Mm -hmm. It was an updated version of Frankenstein. Okay. So when Gene Wilder was Dr. Frankenstein. Okay. When he created the monster, of course, the monster escaped. Well, he gave the monster a very large... A big ego. He gave him a big ego. That's, mm. our, that's the new name for that, big ego. Big ego. So there was a scene with Ma Madeline Kahn who was engaged to Gene Wilder. Okay. Well, Frankenstein was very attracted to her. Oh. 
Oh. And she was like, you get away from me. Oh. You're not my type. All cut up looking like that. Yeah, it's get away from me. Yeah, you can't even talk. Well, child, she was an opera singer. Uh-huh. He unzipped his pants. All of a sudden. Silly, I love to act out movies. But she did. Madeline Kahn was what? also a comedic genius. So <laughs> at the end, when they, you know, they caught Frankenstein, Dr. Frankenstein, Gene Wilder, uh -huh. replaced their private parts. So when he was with his wife, she starts singing. And then they push up on you like, what's going on over there? The big ego. Yeah. They, they couldn't make this because people are too sensitive. Child. But go back mm -hmm. and see it. If you want to get a good hard laugh, <laughs> Blazing Saddles with the late Cleavon Little, um, <laughs> Young Frankenstein. Huh? Now you got me do, about to do some re um, weekend homework because I know you the do. movie, but I've never seen Child, it. You got to see Madeline Kahn. Okay. Get that away from me. Get it away from me. Oh, look at it. Get it away. Get it away. <laughs> Awards. You guys had a lot of questions. Uh -huh. I want to know who was dancing nasty in front of Dr. Bobby Jones. Sexy Red with a nasty son. Sexy Red? Well, what does she sing? I don't know Walking any like of these a dog people. With Su Suki with a good coochie. Her and her had a song together with NLE Chopper. And the crazy thing about that, NLE Chopper was just pushing fresh pressed organic juices. And now you're trying to walk them like a dog? <laughs> this younger generation. Uh, is, she about, is she about walking guys like a dog? What? No, she was being walked like a dog. That's what what went viral. Her and Suki with the Gucci, um, they had leashes on, and uh, NLE Chopper was walking them like a dog. So that's who got up in front of um, Dr. Bobby. So they're dancing Bobby. freaky. Now, first of all, Dr. Bobby Jones, you this ain't the BET Why that you here? had. Why are you here? Where are your grandkids Those at? Those tickets are for your grandkids. Not you. Not you. Dr. Bobby Jones is trying to turn his head. He said, I like a little hip-hop. Let's go. This, no. ain't, your, this ain't the hip-hop you want Dr. to do. Dr. Bobby no. Jones, I don't know why you were sitting there. First of all, why the BET? Why y'all give him the tickets? Ain't nobody warned him. You ain't y'all like Dr. Bobby Jones. You ain't got no friends well, to say about, this ain't for you. And you know them people in production. I hate to say it, they probably babies. Who? All right, just give them the tickets. They I say know. no filtering or nothing. He should not have been there. And nobody saw Dr. Jones. What you doing here? Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Um. <laughs> there was like, a I lot of nakedness and ratchetness. For people, I know they showed it again last night, but you can catch it on YouTube. Yes. Trust me, all on social media, all the clips. Mm -hmm. Someone did ask me about Sugar Hill Gang. Okay. Wonder Mike is suffering some health issues because mm. he was in Philly and it was like he had a stroke. Mm. So he wasn't there. It was yeah. only Master G because Big Bang Hank, he died. Yes, that's what so, okay. that's mm. what happened there. Jamie Foxx, he is being protected. That rehab center, if mm -hmm. you think, because people have been trying to get them shots. See, if you get a shot of Jamie Foxx in a wheelchair in the facility, it's called a money shot. Yep. He is surrounded by cops. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say, well, why did the family, the, the mismanagement, because there are movie roles up for grabs. Mm -hmm. There's the Mike Tyson role up for grabs. They don't want to lose money. Mm -hmm. But at this point, all of these projects have to be moved back. Because he's having difficulty speaking. Mm -hmm. For a stroke can affect you in many ways. For, it never affected my, my voice. Yeah. But I couldn't see. I couldn't walk. It affects people differently. Mm -hmm. And he's got to get back to that point where they can get him to speaking. That's good. Pr prayers for recovery. And you can't blame the man for not wanting to be seen in this Oh, state. gosh, no. Like, y'all chill. Like, when we hear from Jamie, we'll hear from him when the time is right. TMZ is probably going to pay somebody because people already start talking who work at this rehab oh, facility. Oh, they weigh in. You and know they weigh in. Nurse, I hate to say, you 
that picture with my phone there. Y'all, somebody and gonna try to get a, a picture. A third cousin once removed, go on, send this and cut me to check. Yeah. <laughs> so they're trying to get that money shot. Mm -hmm. Mary J. Blige, the biopic. Is she really ready to tell all? She's in talk to BET Plus. Okay. I guess she said well, Keisha Cole could do a movie. Why can't I? Why can't I? I actually heard a movie got a couple of good reviews to it, too. The Keisha Cole story yeah, did. Yeah, the one that was on um, Lifetime. But do you think that Mary's ready to really tell the truth? There's a lot. Of course, we know about the drugs, and she says she was a drugged out hoe. Yes. But then she's going to talk about Casey Haley. I mean... I guess they made amends, but you really going to tell us the real of how he was beating on you heavy and then the other stuff that came with it? The STDs? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know if she's going to, it's really going to be honest. She'll talk about her rise mm -hmm. and what she's been through this last marriage was hell. Mm -hmm. She's still paying him. She's know, still working. I don't know, but I know she probably be like, if you don't die tomorrow, right, I could child. stop. Listen, she is you. still pe but you can't make these menu managers. You Ladies, can't. Please this stop this. From the beginning of time, stop making them your managers. Stop it. You got to stop because you, you break up. They still getting the cut of the money. And here's the thing, Betty. I understand what they say. Love is love. You can't help who you love. So say if it started out as a business relationship, on top, soon as y'all take it to the next level, you're not the manager anymore. You're not my manager. I'm not your client anymore. Like, it just is what it is. But y'all keep this up. Y'all gonna be part of the telltale sign down the line each Years time. Years ago, I had a guy. He was like, you should make me your manager. No. And I sat there and said, uh, you know your role. We good. <laughs> we Get good in here. here. You, Get in this. <laughs> you know your role. No, manage. 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 Get Can't manage there, my career. <laughs> And, and while you at it, go cut the lawn. He go did. The lawn. He really thought. No. He was like, you need a manager. And as soon as they start talking that ish, run. Run. And the other like, way. And I was like, mm, I'm good. No, 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 no. no we are not doing that. a manager. Mm. The Idol. Y'all better enjoy it while you can because HBO is sick of it. They're sick of the weekend's bad acting. Oh. And they're calling it torture porn. It's really, you know what it is? The weekend can't act. Yeah, that's what it really is. The weekend, it's through. like, when he starts talking, it'd be like, shh. Abel, what is going shh. on? You ain't able to do this, Abel. Abel, you can't do this. You ain't able. Everything ain't able now. No, so they're going to be yanking it. They're sick of it. Now, fans of the Idol are very upset. They will not see a completion, and it will not be any more. <sighs> They've cut it. Tickle Toy, it's going to make me want to see it. Now I'm going to go watch it this weekend. Well, you better. Well, it might, might, might not be on this weekend. Well, I guess if I miss it, I miss it. But I'll, I will try to watch this weekend. We shall see. I just want to see the bad acting more than anything. The, the acting. You might go to YouTube. Yeah, the, you're right. You just might. get clips of it from there. The weekend mm -hmm. can't act. Baby, just get your pen out, back out and focus on the song. <laughs> focus on the song. You gone over there. But date them supermodels you've been with. And Jonathan Majors is speaking out, and he says that he is the victim well, okay. of domestic violence. All right. Jonathan says the NYPD should be arresting his former girlfriend because she was drunk and hysterical. Mm -hmm. She attacked him. Mm -hmm. She assaulted him. Mm. She's been harassing him. He was scratched and slapped and called the cops, <laughs> but they arrested him. Mm. I'm the one who called. <laughs> they arrested him. I think the charges are going to be dropped, but they have done some damage to his career. He's got a lot at stake. No. He had to go on and get a girlfriend real fast. And making good, they say she's getting lots of gifts. I'm sure so, she is. All so, the gifts. That's, that's all my the man, and I'm going to stand beside her. And she did. She walked in there. You know, I used to play country music. Uh -huh. Tammy Wynette. Stand by your man. Not in front. Held up <laughs> yeah, high. Held up high. You got to yes. dance like this. Remember when Whitney used to show up the court with Bobby? I know. That's my king. That's yes. the level you need to be that's on. That's the level you got to be on. Whitney would show up. That's my king. I, I Mrs. Brown. Yes. <laughs> You got to show up like and have all that energy. Yup. <laughs> Megan, go girl. But Jonathan is speaking out because he feels that he was the one who was the victim of domestic, um, domestic violence. Stay tuned. You know, a couple of weeks, Toya pops in mm -hmm. to <laughs> encourage my silliness. 
saying because I'm, cause I'm, friend is here I'm already she 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 hypes me up. She be making me think that I could sing. <laughs> like I saw Frankenstein and was like, love. <laughs> what is it? A beautiful thing. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna teach you the words. Okay. Love is a many splendor thing. Love it was this movie. Thing. It, it came out in the early '60s. I wasn't born. But y'all know I like old movies. Yeah. I, I forgot who started in it. I'll have all the information okay. tomorrow. But it was this movie. Just like The Sound of Music. Okay, yes. Remember when Julie Julie Andrews was twirling mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. on, the, on, the, on mountain? the mountain? Mm -hmm. The hills are alive with the sound of music. <laughs> all right, we're not singers. I know exactly. Okay, we have a fun. Why? I'm a radio announcer. <laughs> But that times in your life, that big ego. Mm -hmm. Come on over here, Tom. It'll have you singing in like you the greatest opera star ever. <laughs> you might look like a troll, but I can look past some things from time to time. <laughs> if you're looking for a good comedy classic, I'm telling you, Young Frankenstein, and any of you who have seen the movie, mm -hmm. you're laughing right along with me. <laughs> you are laughing because you remember. And Blazing Saddles. Okay. Um, that was another one? There was another one. The, the late Cleavon Little. Mm, he, was okay. a, he was a great actor. He died young. Okay. He probably was in his 40s when he died, but oh, wow. he died many, many, many years ago. Okay. I think it was a kid. And it was it was good. But Mel Brooks' movies. Classic. They couldn't be made today. And he, and he said that. He said wow. that. He said that people would just be up in arms. Mm -hmm. and, and he didn't care who he was. Because he, he was a Jewish man. But he was like, uh, anybody can get I'm it. I'm going to talk about y'all too. Me I'm going to talk about everybody. I'm talking about me uh -huh. and everybody else. Yeah, equal opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> he was an equal opportunity offender. Mm -hmm. But, you know, people get in their feelings. Yes. You can check out Chocolate Divinity <laughs> on Instagram at right. Chocolate Divinity. Yes, friends. So you'll be able to see her there. I'm mm -hmm. a WDAS Patty. Leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. Auntie goes through them. Yeah. Boy, they poured out yesterday Did over them they? BET Award. Yes. Oh, y'all might have to go back and hit them and I take enjoy. A look. I enjoy hearing from you guys. I do. And I, like, like I said, we can agree to disagree. All the time. Have a good one. This is Latoya Charleston, Chocolate Divinity. I'm your auntie of pop culture, <laughs> Patty Jackson. It's not cute, not, not knowing. knowing. Now you know when you see a big ego. Just start singing. Mm -hmm.